What Shadow and Daily Dreamers we got Mathers here, aka Spider Mike, aka Daily Dreams, uh, and uh, we got some more Delta Battle League quarterfinals playoffs here. <laughs> quarterfinals. <laughs> uh, we got Sharp Dress Gaming of the Minnesota Wild Charger versus Frostfire of the uh, Inver Irvine Infernapes. Uh, I believe Venusaur was either nominated or was MVP of this season. Uh, so we'll see how that comes to pl comes to play in the in the playoffs. <laughs> uh, I hope this music isn't too loud. <laughs> anyway, uh, we got uh, so Char Char Dress Gaming of the Minnesota Wild Chargers bringing Charizard, Berloom, uh, Crocodile, Togetic, Beware, and Alolan Raichu. While Frostfire is bringing uh, Mega Venusaur, Porygon 2, Jirachi, Nidoking, Huntail, and Hitmonlee. Now I should mention that. Uh, these teams are part of the Moon Conference, while my team and the other two videos I just posted were part of the Sun Conference. So I never actually had to battle these guys in the regular season. So these teams are pretty new to me. Uh, I have no idea what Charizard this is. I only know about this is Mega Venusaur because I've heard about it so much because it was so, so good. And I think it got a couple 6 O's or something in the beginning of the season. Anyway, uh, we see Smash Pass there, and that's particularly frightening. Um... Uh, did we allow Smash Pass? I don't know. I think we did. But anyway, uh, looking at the teams, Charizard vs. Venusaur. This is basically uh, red versus green. Uh, you know, the character green. Anyway, what am I saying? <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Let's just get into this. Uh, so Sharp Dress leads with Berloom as Frostfire leads with Jirachi. Goes for that Energy Ball turn one, maybe trying to catch a switch there. But uh, it goes for the Rock 2. I don't know what either of them were doing, but I guess Speed Drop is important. Uh, Let's see, Psychic, alright, Psychic just blows away the Balloon, I'm not sure what was going on there. The Balloon is just gone. Uh, Crocodile is going to come out now and pull a double into Charizard as the Jirachi does pull a switch into Venusaur. So good play there by Shardress Game, trying to catch the Venusaur, I guess. Uh, but Porygon 2 is going to come out, and let's see, it is Charizard Y as you go for the Air Slash as it does basically nothing to the rubber duck. So Charizard switches out into Beware as Porygon goes for the Tri-Attack. It doesn't get any hacks on the Beware, thankfully. Uh, but Jirachi comes back out as Beware goes for the Return and Jirachi, of course, eats that up. Let's see. Yeah, Beware is going to switch into Togetic goes, he goes for the, as uh, Jirachi goes for the Psychic and Togetic is able to eat that up pretty well. Uh, Togetic switches into Charizard now as Jirachi goes for the Ancient Power. Wow. Good set on this Jirachi. We're very prepared. Uh, Psychic actually finishes off the Charizard. I guess it's a speed tie, I guess, right? If they're both max speed. Uh, but anyway, uh, Alolan Raichu comes out, forces the switch into uh, Porygon 2. Thunderbolt is doing literally nothing. Uh, but Focus Blast is going to be doing a lot more. Still not doing half, but... Yeah, recover. If he had not recovered there, it would have been a 2 KO, but uh, Raichu goes for the Volt Switch into Beware as the Recover comes out one more time. So Beware is going to go for as it pulls the switch into Venusaur, goes for the Shadow Claw, which does nothing to the Venusaur because Venusaur is a monster. Goes for the Mega Evolve <laughs> as the Return comes out, which does a lot more, but still not much. Goes for the Sludge Bomb and actually takes it really well. Uh, but Beware is still going to switch into the Raichu here as Venusaur goes for Synthesis. So uh, Frostfire looking really powerful right now with his team, especially Jirachi coming in on that Psy Shock. It will take it very well. Double resist. Even a crit only did 12%. Uh, Thunderbolt and the Paralysis doing a lot of damage. And Ancient Power not doing much at all. Trying to catch the Togetic there, I suppose. Um, yeah, but it goes for the Psy Shock again. I guess trying to predict. Uh, but Energy Ball is doing a lot to the Raichu. Uh, even with the Paralysis, Raichu's not really winning this. Goes with the Thunderbolt, though. And unfortunately goes down to the Energy Ball. I didn't look at the Calyx there, but yeah, definitely didn't need a roll or anything. Uh, Crocodile is going to come out. Should definitely outspeed this Paralyzed Jirachi. But of course, the Venusaur is going to switch in. Able to eat that Earthquake, too. Damn. Goes for the Z move. Let's see, what is this? Z Bulk Up. What? Ooh. That's really interesting. It will eat the sludge bomb too. Trying to catch their power trip. What the hell was that? 
Okay, Giga Drain almost KOs the crocodile. What the hell is a power trip? Why have I never heard of that move? Earthquake finishes off the Jirachi on the switch. And the Moxie boost is here as well. But him on the you come out, probably go for the fake out or something, mock punch. Forces the switch into Togetic as the fake out does happen. And uh, normal gem, so that classic set. Uh, Rock Slide does a lot of damage here as Baton Pass of all things. And it looks like it's pretty much game. Yeah, close combat finishes off the um, the Beware and um, will definitely finish off the Crocodile and another Rock Slide will finish off the Woodstock, the Togetic. So yeah, that is game. Frostfire taking the win there. Yeah, there's the close combat. There it is. Uh, so that's it. Uh, definitely, Frostfire definitely played better. Uh, not really sure what was happening with that Breloom, uh, or why. What? What is Power Trip? <laughs> what is Power Trip? <laughs> I need to look this up. Alright, Bulbapedia. A damage dealing Dark type move introduced in Generous. Turn seven. Signature move of Crocodile. What? Power Trip has a variable power depending on the total amount of positive stat changes the user has accumulated. When the user has no positive stat changes, Power Trip's base power is 20. Its power is increased by 20 for each positive stat stage the user has in any stat, and does not decrease in power due to any negative stat changes. It can reach a maximum power of 860 if all seven stats are at their maximum stage. So he had plus two attack and plus one, so plus three, so it was an 80 power dark type move. I guess that's more powerful than knockoff, but I guess, yeah, on the Venusaur it's more powerful, but probably not as good as knockoff on anything else. Interesting, did not know that existed, so you learn something new every day. Uh, Frostfire moves on to the semifinals of the Moon Conference. And uh, we'll check out the next battle pretty soon. I'm pretty sure my buddy Aridon is in the other quarterfinals. So uh, hopefully I have that uploaded soon. Keep dreaming. See you next time. Peace out.